Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today in this video. I will be going over how to manually register devices with Windows Autopilot. And you might be wondering, what is Windows Autopilot? It's a cloud-based service that simplifies setup and configuration of new devices. And let's go over on some of the scenarios why we might be using this method instead of the automatic. So in my case, I've used this before to test out before rolling out in production. And in some cases, I even needed to register a device that wasn't imported from our OEM. As noted in this article, you can collaborate with your OEM provider um, to assist you with that. But in this case, we can go over you know, some of the hows of how we will be doing this. I'll break this into two components. The first one is we're going to collect the hardware hash of a device. Um, in my case, I will be using a virtual machine, but you can go ahead and use a device that's not already inside of Intune. And the second portion will be uploading that hardware hash to Intune. Great. So now that we have that covered, let's take a look at the prereqs. As we can see here, we can see that we have three prereqs. We want to make sure that we have an active Intune subscription. We also want to make sure that we have enabled Windows automatic enrollment. And the last one, we want to make sure that we have a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 subscription. And another thing that I want to know are the required permissions. As long as we have an Intune administrator or policy and profile manager um, permissions, we should be okay to run this um, to import that device to Intune. So let's go ahead and take a look at this second um, bulletin. I can go ahead and show us where that is inside of Microsoft Intune. So let's head over to our tenant. Here, if we go to Microsoft or intune.microsoft.com, and we'll head to devices on the left-hand panel. And then under device onboarding, we'll want to click on enrollment. And under enrollment options, let's click on automatic enrollment. So here we want to make sure that our MDM user scope is set to all. Well, I'm looking in your environment to make sure that this is either set to all, or in your case, if you need to adjust and target specific uh, groups, go ahead and do some. Great, now that we have that covered, let's go ahead and collect our hardware hash. Um, just wanna let you know there are various ways of grabbing that hardware hash, but in our case, we're going to be using Windows PowerShell. So I already have a virtual machine set up here. This is just a virtual machine that I just spun up and has not been enrolled into Intune. So let's go ahead and open up a PowerShell app and we can go ahead and click run as administrator, select yes. Great. So I do have the information on the PowerShell script that you'll need to grab that har hardware hash on my blog. But for simplicity really quick, I do have the actual Microsoft documentation. I'll go ahead and copy this and paste it into my PowerShell um, platform here. Here, all that's really important for us to know here is that the hardware hash ID will be located in this path. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll get some execution policy change um, prompts. Go ahead and read carefully and you know select the appropriate choice for yourself. But for me, I'm just going to do yes to all. And we'll let that run. Now that we've seen it um, run and we have this information, we can go ahead and verify that that hardware hash ID is in fact in the C drive. So if we go to File Explorer, head into our C drive, Great, we can see the HWID folder is there. And let's click in. Awesome, so autopilot hardware hash ID is there as well. Let's double click just to verify that we have the information we need. Yep, this is all great. This is all the information that we're going to need. So we can go ahead and close. And close this as well. And let's head into our Microsoft tenant. So if you go to intune.microsoft.com, and make sure that you have the appropriate role. Great, let's head over to devices. 
and we can head into enrollment under device onboarding. Here in this platform, we'll want to make sure that we have selected Windows and we can scroll all the way down to the Windows Autopilot section. Here we'll want to select on Devices and we can see that we already have imported devices from before. That the one that we were working on today is not there. So let's go ahead and click on Import and you can see some information here on the right. Let's go ahead and select our file and just to bring everybody back, this will be back on the C drive under the HWID folder and let's select that autopilot HWID file. Great, we can see that that's formatted correctly. Now let's click on import and this can take up to 15 minutes. Um, so just keep an eye on this. You can see it, the progress here in the top. So importing devices, great. We'll let that run. And while that's running, let's actually grab the serial number of this device so we can verify that it has been uploaded. So if we go back to our file explorer and click on that autopilot HWID file, here we'll see the serial number of this virtual machine. Let's go ahead and copy. And once this is complete, Go ahead and refresh and paste. Great, look at that. So now we can see that our virtual machine has been imported into Intune. So now you can set up autopilot profile to this device. And next time you run this device, um, you should be able to leverage Windows Autopilot for it.